What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten, back at it again. First and foremost, hello, husband. How are you? Very handsome today. Exits on the sides, <laughs> front and back. But you can't leave. Oh, we've locked the doors. Me in the face. All right. Well, since you're stuck in here, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. I have something to show you guys, and it's the best. It's it's great. It's me. Okay. We've it's already excellent. done it. I did the thing. I made the joke. I'm hilarious. So you guys know I really like cute things. I really like soft things, right? But there's like a dark, violent, murdery part of me that you guys only get to see on occasion. If you kill me on camera, I will. <laughs> on you and everyone watching. Imagine. Imagine. Just... Ah, ah, ah. It's like an hour long upload. Oh, when did Skid to upload today? Anyways, continue. Um, so my husband got me a gift that encompasses both parts of me. All right. I have this Squishmallow. Yeah. Look at him. He is so cute. He's a little, little owl guy. he's a little vampire owl. <laughs> look at his, look at his little cape. Okay, what now watch this. Ew. <laughs> I might you're have gross. I might have to blur this. Ew. You know, you're this disgusting. might not be appropriate. Why are you massaging it like that? Alright, so she's grabbing him by his pancreas. Are you gonna fast forward this part? No. Ugh. Alright. After I grab his guts and pull them out, <laughs> he turns into a jail. But like a lumpy jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> My husband got me a, a, a stuffed animal that I literally have to turn inside out. Oh my gosh. Anyway, this is one of the best gifts that I've ever received in my life. Yeah. And it also has absolutely nothing to do with uh, why we are here today, which is for some Casual Geographic, who hilariously still uses his Hood Nature little graphic here. Right. Like, he's, he's staying true to his roots. The title of this is The Ridiculously Complicated World of Cats. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This video was brought to you by Pure Spite. All right. Okay. Don't be suspicious. You're dead. Don't be suspicious. You're dead. Don't be suspicious. That's crazy. On a scale from one to ten, my friend. Oh. Oh. This yeah. video exists for one reason, and it's because of an argument I got into with one of my friends. And even though we technically settled it in the end. I'm still tight it even got to that point. Tell and if this dress proved anything, oh, it's that even the most intelligent forms of life in the world, or even the universe, can have the stupidest hills to die on. Okay. So because of that... He's, called, he's talking shit to all his friends for a mad as hell watching that. But also, yeah. what side were you on? With what? The dress. There's no side. I see a white and gold dress every time, and I have to stare at it and squint and remember the keys to see a blue and black dress, and right, I got it just now. For a second, and then it goes away. I have never seen So here we go, try this. Okay. First, squint your eyes. Squint. Look just in the middle. Okay. Front, tell your brain it's black. It's black. Right, and yeah. really believe that it's black. It's black. Now defocus on all the white. Can okay. you defocus your eyes and just stare at it? Yeah, just look at the now let gold. Your, now let your eye, uh, uh, let your, but see, you can't do that. You can't do that. The second you say it's gold, it's gonna go away. Okay, okay. Let your eyes defocus. It's black. And really believe it's black and squint and strain to see that it's black. And you'll be able to do it for a, a split second. Oh, okay, I got it. Right? Yeah. The problem is you look at it and you go, it's gold. And your brain goes, yeah, nigga, I know. And then you quit. Okay, that's, okay. That's all, that's the only time I it can worked. do it. Thanks, because I no have problem. never, I've never seen, yeah. like I, I kind of got it one time when somebody had like changed the, yes, the shading, they changed the shading yeah. on it. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, but I've never seen it like that, so it's only ever been white and gold for me. The first time I saw that, I thought the whole controversy was fake. Yes, I thought it was a joke. Until I mentioned, yeah, like, because it's obviously, and at the same time, they were like, because it's blue, and I was like, it's white? <laughs> are we are we doing this right now? So because of that, and because of a certain comment I'm really tired of getting, oh. I decided to take a two for one special on birds, with the one being a stone, and by stone, I of course mean ah. YouTube video. But first, a word from our sp there's no sponsors, but can we just agree that this thing is obviously white and gold? Like y'all really you. be lying unprovoked Thank for no you. reason. <laughs> oh, get the What? Yeah, dude, and it actually was funny because it was just taken with a really, really shitty camera, and that's why it came out like this. You never read the whole article? I was obsessed. 
whatever. Get out of my face. Right. Get out of my face. Okay. Don't talk to me ever again. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. And speaking of color causing controversy, no racial, hmm. Black Panthers aren't real. Yes, they don't exist. I and I very nearly lost a close friend because of it. Melanism is a mutation that causes the production of melanin to go into overdrive, mm -hmm. leading to basically a real life shadow clone shiny Pokemon. Mm -hmm. A black panther is really just a leopard or jaguar with the same revitiligo Uncle Ruckus got. Mm -hmm. And because the gene that causes it is dominant in one cat but recessive in the other, most black panthers are just jaguars with extra tint. That's how a funeral colorway cat can birth a black and yellow remix. Right. And vice versa. So black panther isn't really an animal, it's a description. It's a panther that's black. And I wish it ended Got there, but it. if it did, this video wouldn't exist. Okay. Because this is a black panther. What? But this is also a black panther. Because wouldn't all you of you know, them are there panthers. goes a blue panther. Yeah. Since black panther just describes a mutation, black ain't the only color on the panther palette. Lucism is like the sun bleached cousin yeah. of melanism. So right. even though it sounds like a colonizer response to Wakanda, you can call both of these <laughs> white panthers. That's so the Maltese funny. tiger is an alleged variant of the South China variety. It's not for sure that they exist, but if they do, they technically be blue panthers. Mm. By now, I'm guessing at least one person's commented, what about the pink panther? About that, Erythrism is the red-headed middle child of mutations, and one of the results of it Shut is the ultra-rare strawberry-flavored leopard. Or one could say, a pink panther. Wow. I can go on, but you see what I'm getting at, right? Go and at on, this point, please. you're probably asking, what even is a panther? The answer, well, the simplest one is that panther is just another word for big cat. Yes. It'd be simple if it wasn't for one big pun intended problem. Here we have two cats. Okay. Cat A is an average of 130 to 140 pounds, stands two to three feet tall at the shoulders, and they max out about, uh, let's say, 220. Okay. The average cat B weighs in at a little over 100 pounds on a good day, just over two feet tall, mm. and the biggest ones you'll ever see are pushing 120. Mm. But since the world of cats is honestly as defiant as they are, only one of these is a big cat. Right. And it's not cat A. Nope. And now you're probably questioning what okay, big cat why? even means. And I'm so glad you asked, because now we get to meet him. The Big Cat Club is made of the Panthera, or, you know, the Panther genus. There's technically five members, and the first is the Leopard. The Leopard is the pound-for-pound -pound champion of Big Cats. And what would happen if Spider-Man changed careers and paid rent as a hitman? You won't find five animals more disrespectfully athletic than the Leopard. There's not a single situation where a 360 backflip no scope is required to murk a monkey. But that's just leopards. Right. They're by far the best climbers of big cats. He's and to gone. avoid getting food taxed by lions and hyenas, they'll He's manhandle their prey up into the trees gone. off the He's muscle. Gone. Straight jaw work. No gym, but look at that deadlift. And yeah, that Ooh. is a rhino. Yeah, Ooh. that is a giraffe. Oh leopards can also stalk their prey from the trees and fall out the sky for smoke like Batman about a cripple of Jaywalker. Oh, this assault squirrel on steroids is the reason why a sign like this even exists. Not just because an Olympic oh, gymnast level serial killer, killer, killer can get airdrop to the back of your <laughs> neck, but also because you can legitimately get life deprived by a leopard. Leopards leftovers. Leopards are by far the most versatile big cat, which is why they have the oh widest God. range. Just don't let Baboon Gang know, because that beef is anything but rare. Bro, it's like they're like the athletic Muay Thai fighters that go into MMA. Right. Just doing all these cartwheel kicks and shit. You're like, what is his goal in the fight? Yeah. God dang. Just don't let Baboon Gang know, because that beef this is anything is but always rare. So sad. Next yeah. are snow leopards, and this is going to be the beginning of many, many cat contradictions. Okay. Snow leopards aren't even leopards. God. Genetically, okay. Tyler right. would have been closer to Tigris. And that's a shame, because missing out on the name Cliff Tiger is a fumble. Mm. It's a scientifically proven fact Man, that dead. cats are whores for elevated surfaces. <laughs> so the mountain tiger lives in God's <laughs> attic in the Himalayas. So it's a good thing they either have zero fall damage or anime plot armor stronger than vibranium. Right. Yeah, he survived this. That's it nice. also gets cold up there, so the same tail they use for balance can also be used dope. as a DIY scarf. I encourage you to go down the rabbit hole of snow leopards using their tails as security blankets. <laughs> It'll make you feel as warm as they do. They've been nicknamed Ghost of the Mountains due to how far they've gone to social distance from humanity. But with how dirty we've done their closest cousin, I don't blame them. The actual tiger is like the Chuck Norris of cats because some of the facts about them You'd swear they were a cryptid if they weren't on camera. Facts like their legs being so built, tigers can stand even after they fully pass tense. Or that the infrasound in their roar can temporarily paralyze prey. How about the fact that they're one of the most vengeful things on the planet, with one tiger crossing off 436 names off the census after she got crossed by one. And see, that's why I like tigers so much. Why? Because that's she was right. <laughs> She was right. How dare you? How dare anybody How dare anybody that looks like you? Damn. That smells like you? That Damn. sounds even vaguely like you? Damn. I'm a very vengeful person. How are you? I just like to be I, clear. You know, I couldn't tell. <laughs> but also, you know, 
I that I'm very vengeful, not just on my behalf, but on anybody that I know and have vaguely positive feelings for. You know, my hair girl be like, oh, and then so and so did this. Let's go burn his house down. I hate him. Can you give like I a hate less everybody related to him? Can you give like a less clearly criminal response? <laughs> it's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm uh, my friends, you know, whatever. Then like vaguely veiled threat that clearly is like burning their house down, but not. I'll kick his grandma on the shin. That's not <laughs> F. F. I'll lick a Jolly Rancher and stick it on his car. Okay, <laughs> you're this close. You were this <laughs> close. I feel like so many people who don't really know me feel like, oh my God, Skitten is such a supportive person. Right. Like, no. I simply enjoy violence. Oh, okay. And I feel Can like you, people who listen, wrong no, me she doesn't. or no, people no, she who doesn't. do the people no. I care about and wrong she's lying deserve the for worst For legal reasons, life. she's lying. You cannot say these things in public. I'll dance on your grave. You cannot say that. Figuratively. I'll do the Cupid shuffle on your headstone. <laughs> now, now, do you dance? Do you dance? <laughs> That the reason tigers are orange is off the census after she got crossed by one. How about the fact that the reason tigers are orange in the first place is because the animals on their grocery list are completely Helen Keller to the color. Meaning, oh. if you're a deer, this is what the biggest cat in the world looks like. Oh my it's God. also why a tiger's stripes run skin deep. And out of all cats... That's crazy. That shit is crazy. That's nuts. I did not know that. This is it right here, yeah, right? Yep, there it is. That's Right, it's the predator. That's you are the cool. predator to deers. That's fucking cool. That's why they're so sensitive to sound. <laughs> they're like, the wind kills us. We die to the wind. Tigers have by far the highest human Poor body baby. count. And that's mostly because <laughs> of how baby. close they live to humans. And I don't just mean in India. There's more tigers in America than in the rest of the world combined. What? This one's in Houston. That but we've also screwed them more than any other cat. Most white tigers are literally a product of incest for human interest. Then you got probably the most famous big cat of all. Lion. The lion. Yeah. They're the only ones that weaponize the power of friendship, which is why lions have the most impressive meal plan of any cat. Mm -hmm. Anything short of a full grown elephant can get packed up by the pride. Not even elephants in general get immunity, but going for the high risk, high reward prey means lions also get bodied <laughs> religiously. And not just in Detroit. Arguably the biggest danger to a lion is their own ambition. Yeah. But together, probably nothing's more impressive and makes you want to evacuate your bowels more than a pride of lions. Yeah. And even with Hollywood dubbing over their roar with the tigers, it's cause a lion's roar is designed to be heard and tell anyone within a five mile radius that if they plan to f around, best make time to find mm -hmm. out. And lastly, it's my personal <laughs> favorite of the cats, the jaguar. Easily the Jaguar's one punch cool. man of meat yeah. eaters. Yeah. Thanks to the pound for pound strongest jaws the, the on jaw the cat. Man. And also their habit of taking Thanos' advice and going for the head. <laughs> the end game there is a cousin of the crocodile getting its wig busted by an all terrain Insane. aquatic vice grip. It takes a lot to make a capybara feel anything that isn't apathy. Jaguars are also OP enough to hit a lick on a sea turtle. That's I don't know if this insane. makes sense, but jaguars are the tiger sharks of big cats. Their name translates to he who kills with one leap. Because when this leopard on steroids gets active, the census undergoes subtractions. And I don't want to gloss over the fact that they're also the best swimmers of big cats. Although the Bengal tiger would probably like to have a word. Jaguars will often chew on yaji vines and get absolutely obliterated. That has nothing to do with this video, Thank but it's you. by far my favorite fact about them. <laughs> so those are the five members of the Panther okay. genus, which makes them all Panthers. Panthers. Whole time, Jacksonville and Carolina flex the same mascot, huh. which means any one of these cats being black would make it a black panther. Interesting. Yes, even this. That's Now you sick. might think that's where it ends, but call me Billy Mace, because wait, there's more. Remember Rest this? Well, Cat B is a male snow leopard, and Cat A is a mountain lion. The oh. cat world is really just a bunch of rules and cats that break the rules because not only is a cat bigger than a big cat, somehow not a big cat, the cat 99% of people, including Google, think of when they hear panther it's isn't actually a panther. A panther. Okay. Yeah. What the f***? Well, as mentioned, cougars don't sit at the big cat lunch table and it has nothing to do with weight class. Most experts agree that the defining trait of a big cat is a modified bone in the throat called the hyoid that gives the cat the ability to roar. Oh. So the rule of thumb is, if it roars, it's a big cat, and if it purrs, it's a little cat. Got big it. quotes on the little. <laughs> now I gotta immediately break that rule because snow leopards, the big cat that's already on thin ice for not even can't being roar. a leopard, also can't roar. Wow. What the f- Actually, it's gonna get old if I keep doing this, so you know what? I'm just gonna use Soldier Boy. 
<laughs> Instead, they sound like if Lion King showed Simba's awkward teen face. <laughs> and then you die. You hear that, and then you die. I would never hear that and think of danger. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that sounds like? Me, last week. That's what that sounds like. Like, like if you would have stubbed your toe at any point. <laughs> <laughs> the first hey is because you stubbed your toe. The second one's because your throat hurts from screaming that loud. Recap, with cats, there's big cats and little cats, or more specifically, panthers and felines. Mm -hmm. Panthers from the panthera genus and felines from the felinae subfamily. Mm -hmm. You see, now I always thought feline referred to anything cat, right. but by this logic, lions, tigers, and the rest of the big cats technically aren't felines. Okay. So any cat's either gonna be a big cat pushing pee, pee being panther, yeah. or a little cat from family feline. And, be a feline and now I gotta break purr. that rule, cause okay. this cat isn't either. The oh. clouded leopard isn't a big cat or a little so cat. Cute, You're though. probably gonna ask, well, do they roar or purr? No. It yells. It growls. It squeaks. It, it quacks. That's not a quack. Yeah, clouded leopards do neither, and they're considered the bridge between big cats and not big cats. Mm -hmm. They're also considered a modern day saber tooth. Not literally, but because of having the most disrespectful dental of any cat okay. relative to size. Speaking of size, I grew up thinking they were way bigger, but that's honestly because the first time I heard of one, it was trying to murk the rugrats. Also, the clouded leopard isn't an actual leopard, and we can hold the soldier boy because at this point we ain't even surprised. Right. But yeah, other than them, cats are either big cats or not big cats. Which brings us to the cougar, who, despite being the most associated with the name, isn't even a type of panther. Okay, I am so lost. I need a diagram now, thank you. Whenever you're ready to put the diagram up, I'm ready right. for it. Right, could you help us out? I help me help you help us. I, I can't, I got it and like 20 seconds later, I get confused. <laughs> then I get what I was confused about 20 seconds ago, right, but now while I'm confused on. about the current yeah. information. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I am now over, I'm in too deep. You're moving a little too fast, buddy. I'm gonna remember the growl and purr, and I'm gonna just coast on that for a while. Perfect. I'll add the rest of this video in later. Actually more related to your pet cat than to an actual lion. How? The confusion is because mountain lions can be found anywhere from the Yukon to the very tip of South America. Okay. Being found in a lot of places means they've gotten a lot of names like Puma, Cougar. Yeah, I've never heard of Catamount, but also Panther. I mean, think about it. They're called mountain lions, but share area codes with jaguars. Yeah. And also, they don't roar. Instead, they sound like a woman becoming a notch on Ted Bundy's belt. Basically, cougars prove that up. you might be a big cat, but you're not a big cat. <laughs> this roided up identity crisis might go by many names, but they catamount to a panther. And now mm -hmm. that we've addressed that, we can address the second reason I'm making this video. Okay. She just can't roar either. Okay, they're going, they're going in. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. I am weary. <laughs> yeah, weary. cheetahs aren't big cats, and not only is it Avengers level conflict in my comments whenever I say otherwise, this was another argument me and my friends got into. Right. But cheetahs are in subfamily feeling they, which For the record, mm -hmm. it's a very... <laughs> Go ahead. It's fine. It's safe. It's a safe place. It's exactly what I'm thinking. I just wanted to say it. You know what? It it's a very nerdy thing to argue about. So nerdy. And it reminds me of when my husband and I went to a party and like he walked off to like go get a drink or something and go to the bathroom and he came back to me and the host of the party mm -hmm. having a heated debate right. about whether or not Severus Snape is a hero or not. At a party, everyone else around us is drinking, having a good time, jumping in the pool. No, we are we are we are we are talking sternly to each other over the table about harry potter my husband just walks up like what is happening can we just do something else i mean like we don't even have to resolve this we could just pause it not even table it let's just move on <laughs> to be clear i won the argument okay listen i won that do not kick this back up they admitted that i was right which makes them felines which makes them not big cats okay. also they can't roar the best they can do is arouse a party of bird watchers so cute. now you see why cheetahs get religiously bullied it's basically an overgrown house cat competing with units i've always said that the cheetah's biggest downfall was investing everything into speed but honestly evolving to run away from their problems was the best they could right. do and i love cheetahs but it's clear they took the cut way too far mm. like i said if you can get victimized by vultures you messed up. In their defense, male cheetahs will form coalitions to tackle life head-on. Mm. But cheetahs are still the most underappreciated single moms in nature. 
there's a lot more other little cats and some you've never heard of. Like you want to know what's the closest relative of the mountain lion? You'll never guess it. My cat. Here's an ad while you guess it. It's okay. the Jaguarundi. So the cat named after a jaguar is most related to a cat named after a lion, even though neither of them are related to either of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Its name means dark jaguar, even though it looks like a UFO. Unidentified feline otter, which is actually another name they have. And they do not look happy about it. But nothing has more of an attitude aesthetic than Palace's the cat. RBF. The cat that looks like the furry epitome of the hell funny. is that? But if nature wanted me to take them seriously, it shouldn't have had them built like an ice chilled glacial Garfield. Yeah. Like snow leopards, they'll also use their tails to stay warm. Why does he look so Except with the palace, that means standing on their tails to keep their paws toasty. You're not beating the adorable allegations, buddy. Now, Never. they're still wild animals, so no, you can't have them as a pet. Damn. Or, I guess anything can be a pet until it rips your face off. But if it means anything, you can adopt a Siberian forest cat. Because it's honestly the closest you're gonna get. But yeah, that's the aggro kitty. So the cat that, like, is digging up shit out inside of my house looks like that cat, but white with short legs. I'm not getting that. Look how long the hairs on that damn cat. There's hair everywhere in my damn house. Look how no. majestic. No. Beautiful. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. But also, yeah, there's a cat that has adopted our house for some reason. Yeah, we did. Uh, yes. I don't know what. I don't know. They talk about tenants' rights. Yeah. Now I understand it. Yeah. But I don't know what happened. But he keeps digging up my fern. Mm hmm. So, as much as I love cats, I'm going to have to kick his ass. Like, Figuratively. But if you know if cats like ferns or eat ferns when their tummy hurts or something, let me know so I can hide it from him. <laughs> He's eating He's, my boy. My boy. My boy. <laughs> Look what they've done to my boy. Hell, they're digging his roots up. They gotta stop. <laughs> to be fair, you'd be pissed seven ways to Sunday if you googled ugly eared cat and your face came up. Oh, now we've got the bobcat, and I'm gonna be honest, I could never really tell the difference between them and a lynx. But it turns out this whole time, a bobcat is a lynx. Is they the same? Or at I least a type of it. The yeah. lynx is a cat with many faces, with four species of them in circulation. Yeah, I don't know what's happening here either. The Canada lynx is the most memorable, if for no reason, but the fact that they remind me of that one Proud Family episode. Oh and the only thing goofier than their paws is how they settle disputes. Yep, that's what they sound like. Them shits are scary too, Jack. <laughs> They'll tear your dogs up too, man. Oh. They tear them up. Why they do would not you play. Say that? I don't know what it is, but dogs get stupid when it comes to their things, man. <laughs> they do not play. He's like the dog. He's like it looks like the cats that I bully all the time. For real. <laughs> tear them up. And the lynx of the desert would have to be the caracal. Caracal. Uh, caracal. Okay. Or you might know him by his stage name, Floppa. Their defining trait is being no. one of the no, few creatures alive that. with an ear mullet. I say few because a river pig stole their entire flow. Damn. I can't really tell you for sure, but many believe that they use these ear tufts to catfish birds by pretending to be insects. Others say twitching the tufts is how caracals talk to each other. Also, they have what's scientifically known as stupid bounce. They're a popular crazy. pet, which I don't really get because every video I see looks like a cat prepared to catch a charge. Turns out hissing is just how they communicate. They can hiss at you and be perfectly happy like only nature sundere can. A close cousin of the caracal is the serval and for them all i gotta say is gravity is pretty much an option especially since a bunch of their calories come from life retiring Whoa! birds midair pogo kitty can launch itself 13 feet and if you're like me with no concept of distance here's another video stupid right Jesus. so we have cats in jungles cats in deserts cats in mountains and now cats in air mm -hmm. so, so what's next like cats in water this is a fishing cat, not to be confused with the fisher cat, which, wouldn't you know, isn't it's not even a, a cat. cat. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's pretty obvious where the fishing cat got its name, and it's one of the few cats that will 100% run your fade in water. And now we got the cats that you could put in a pet store and nobody would even blink. Mm. And this is the smallest cat of all, with a rusty spotty cat able to sleep that's comfortably cute. in your hand. And yeah, that's not a kitten, that's a grown Whoa. man with bills to pay. Not much bigger is the Blackfoot, aka the deadliest cat on the planet. Mm -hmm. They have the highest hunting success rate of any cat at 60%, Ooh, and angry. while hunting, they'll catch a body pretty much every hour on the hour just to stay alive. And they're the reason I could never be a cameraman. No shot I could see this and be expected to be professional, ain't right. no way. Yeah, looking real fierce, buddy. My timbers are shivered. Same thing with Joffrey's cat, a vicious, cold-blooded predator that only weighs at most 10 pounds. Oh at this gosh. point, you're probably wondering just how many cats are in South America. Well, here's three more. The Cod Cod, the Margate, and the Ocelot. Ocelot. I put them together because they look like three stages of the same Pokemon. And here you have the Andean Mountain Cat, which is endangered. Of being so too damn cute. adorable. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Nah, but like for real, they are dying though. Oh, Speaking gosh. of which, we got the cats that are so rare. There's barely any videos of them I could use. There's the Borneo Bay Cat, or just Bay Cat for short, the Marbled Cat. Another one who could have lived anywhere, but instead chose the foothill forest of the Himalayas. You got the elusive Asian golden cat, and of course, the African golden cat. Can you tell I'm running out of things to say? There's just that many cats, and you can see exactly where we got tired of naming them. For example, this is a wild cat. Yeah, that's, that's their name. At this point in the video, I'm so locked in. I'm trying to train my ears to hear the names. You know, and I'm like, I'm locked in. What's it called? You no, know, we'll never forget the wild, the wild cat. cat. Yeah, we got that name. Because when a naming guy rage quits and you're left with his intern, <laughs> this is the quality of work you get. This is a sand cat. Ooh. It's like a feline fennec you fox like that runs fades with venomous snakes for. F okay, could you talk a little slower so I could get my points out, please? Um, uh, he looks like a fennec fox. <laughs> What's a fennec fox? The foxes with the big ears and then they like stack on ah, top of each yeah, other yeah, and they're yeah, yeah, so yeah. cute. Got but it. apparently they piss everywhere so you cannot have a fennec right. fox as a pet. Right. It's, it's like a feline fennec fox that runs fades with venomous snakes for fun. Two out of ten name, but at least they live in the sand. This is a jungle cat. <laughs> Guess where they don't live? I'm not even gonna put this older boy this time. Are y'all trying to piss me off? Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Not because I named every type of cat. There's like 40 of them. I'm just cutting it now. Right. But yeah, this video was... Kind of just an excuse for me to talk about the cast of the world, so. It's like a, a Forrest Gump moment. Fried shrimp. Yeah. Grilled shrimp. shrimp. I've never actually seen Forrest Gump, so I only know like the meme of that, but I don't know, actually know the thing. But anyway, make sure you drink water, cherish your loved ones. Thank you for the, the support Black in Panther. Three, like for real. Shout out to my friends for inspiring and irritating me at the <laughs> same time. Yeah. I'm gonna see y'all. Oh my God. In the next year. Oh, shit, there's a cat there. Hello. It's just mad as hell. What's going on, buddy? It's like, what the hell is this? How I'm you doing, kill bud? It. Are you in the... Yep. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I will eat you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Why is he in my business like that? You will be intimidated. You <sighs> will blink first. My husband hates cats. That's not a good way to put it. I don't want to own a cat in my house. I think cats are fine. <laughs> As long as they're not outside or around me in any way, I, I think they're great. You can be a cat, just not around him. Or outside. Not inside or outside. And it's funny because I love cats. Mm -hmm. I think that they are so cute and so adorable and just deserve the best things in life. Yeah. And I don't know how we ended up married. I don't, well, that is not on the list of marriage requirements. I feel, like, I feel like that's a deal breaker. You know, do you like cats or are you an evil demon? This, you know? Okay, well, like. <laughs> Now, what was your favorite fact in the in the show today? I love that he argues with his friends about yeah. fucking zoological facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just so. That's so. It's so funny and to it's, me. I like that. I really believe that it could easily come up in his friend group. Too. Absolutely. Yeah. I like the fact that you know tigers are invisible to the things that they hunt. That's actually that is really the dope. single coolest thing I have ever heard. Yeah. Like that. There's just like a blur. Like maybe it's not that invisible, not that way. Yeah. But maybe it's like kind of blurry and hard to distinguish. Yeah. And the fact that they're literally like, you know, in in comparison to what humans are like. We don't know how vulnerable we are. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like what is your scared movement? Mine, like the shoulders come up, like I duck my head. Yeah. Well, oh, please just don't hit me in the head. Right. I figure whatever out is going out, you know? Then after I analyze it, I feel fine and calm. Right. You know? Other animals have to adapt to shadows, murdering them <laughs> all the time. What killed Timmy? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm terrified. <laughs> it was invisible, that there was teeth and blood right. everywhere. I heard, and that was it. And I left him. <laughs> it's crazy because oh, the only shit. time I've ever been invisible is, you know, to my mother when I'm in emotional pain. So. All right. Um, Very envious. We're going to go. We're going to leave. <laughs> we're going to see you later. It's time to end. It's too late at night, apparently. <laughs> She's reminiscing again. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And if we don't see you again, yes, we will see you next year. Have a good one. Peace. Peace.